again. My name is Jenny Freeman, and I'm a senior at Omaha Central. <laughs> <laughs> Wendy, you've been immersed in stories your entire life. Charming fairy tales, daring adventures, and happy endings. You, you can make me believe in any story, like the stories of our future, like the one you told me about us getting an apartment together, goodwill hunting for furniture, roughing our first years away from parents together. And I wanted to remain like you, keep my childlike innocence, keep dreaming, but I grew up. I grew up, but you, Wendy, you are still developing, avoiding reality whenever possible, immersing yourself in anything as long as it isn't real, burying your emotions like treasure, leaving no map, doing anything to preserve the illusion. Your whole life, you dreamed of someone like him. Someone so different from your family, you dreamed of Peter Pan. And when he came, at first just a shadow, then an all-consuming force, another opportunity to distract yourself from the truth, you were more than happy to have faith, trust, and fly away. Peter, he loves the way that you can keep up with him. Witty responses and new ideas, you two create stories others couldn't dream up if they tried, but to him, they are stories, and to you, they are life. You dreamed of purity, of a love rare and true, an innocence and imagination that could carry you away. But with purity and innocence comes naivete, imagination means nothing real, and Peter has been unknowingly killing you with the same qualities you love him for. You see, he will always maintain a blindness to his beauty, his wonder, and he wouldn't know what to do with a love like yours if he admitted its existence. Peter has chosen to forever remain in a world where true love does not exist, a world where your dreams of walking hand in hand or doing crossword puzzles in the bed you two share is grown-up stuff. Peter has chosen to forever remain a child. I know that you wish things could just stay the same, but someday you'll grow up too. Someday you won't need him anymore. Someday you'll be able to find hope inside yourself instead of in his eyes. But until then, I'll cling to every word you speak. I'll be sitting on the floor like the child I no longer am, eager to listen to your tales of adventures with him. I'll be, I'll be watching you fly off with him instead of walk along with me. And when you're ready, when you finally understand that you can make it on your own, when you're ready to grow up, I'll be there. I know that I can't take you away from all your problems, but I can promise you I'll help you battle them. Wendy, I know you're in love with Peter Pan. If you ever come home from Neverland, I'll be waiting, whether it's to be your friend, to be your lover, or just to see you smile. Ah.